Hi guys, Colleen here from Walking the Resonant Path. I just wanted to talk to you about how crystals are made and also how they heal and what they are. So uh, crystals are a mineral and uh, there's two ways crystals are formed and that's either through heat. So what happens is this mineral of the earth and mineral are, minerals are earth elements and the first way is they um, turn because the, when the earth heats up they turn into a liquid this mineral and then the earth will cool down and this liquid mineral will solidify and that's how one type of crystal is made and then other types of so that's like a, an onyx and amber those sorts of crystals are made that way uh, the other way crystals are formed is through movement and pressure of the earth so when the earth moves it puts pressure on the mineral um, on the earth, sorry, and uh, that turns into a mineral. So like the car the element carbon, when the earth moves and puts pressure on carbon, it turns into a diamond. So that's how crystals are made. Um, the way that crystals heal is crystals, as I said, are atoms of earth elements that are formed in geometric shapes. And our skeletal system is made up of earth atom like earth elements, like carbon and things. So um, the crystal's energy goes in with the, our energy because we've got the same makeup and it heals through the vibrations of similar energies. Uh, crystals uh, get their energy and their vibrations from the sun and when they're healing us, they admit this solar energy into us as healing. So um, crystals get their colors because each crystal has the rainbow spectrum in the crystal and when the light hits them and goes through them some of those light rays will be filtered out and some will survive depending on the mineral that's there a lot of um, minerals are silicon dioxide with impurities and there's a lot of different types of silica which is why we get a lot of different minerals and so anyway there's these light rays that hit the the mineral and some of those light rays will survive and some will go through and it's the surviving rays that um, make give the mineral its color so like if the pink or if the red survives because they're all rainbow colors so if the red survives it'll give it like a pink like a rose quartz or maybe a red color like a, a jasper depending on how much of that light gets filtered through and how much gets blocked now there are usually three color categories that crystals are there's usually transparent translucent and opaque now with transparent crystals a lot of light goes straight through so that's like a clear quartz um, with translucent some of those light rays go through but not all of them and that's like a milky type of stone like a moonstone or a lighter sort of colored stone or, or a little bit more see-through stone and then we have uh, where not many light rays go through um, and that's like a very solid colored stone like a jasper or or maybe a jade or something like that. Okay, well, I just wanted to let you know. And when I heal people, I what I do is I put the crystals either on their chakra points or whatever crystal I feel needs to heal them in the place they need to be healed. And then I do Reiki over them. And I also use it sometimes in shamanic healing crystals. I will use it like a crystal um, ball to roll along their body and to take up all the negative energy. And then I wash that ball in some lavender water and that takes the energy away. Well, anyway, I just wanted to talk to you a bit about crystal healing and how they heal. So they heal through light and through having similar energies and elements within our body to theirs. So anyway, I hope you have a joyous day and do whatever resonates within your soul. Bye now.